how's everyone doing today and stuff like that how are you how are you i hope you're having a lovely day today and welcome back to another episode of forager okay so listen right today's episode is probably gonna be a mess because we have lots of random little bits and pieces to do here and there and that was a great start wasn't it um <laughs> getting rid of my flooring um we're gonna start off right by saying this factory was a mistake I said it last episode that it might be a mistake, but it was a mistake. We're not there yet. We're not ready for this kind of industrial stuff yet. So, today we're just gonna try to upgrade all of our things to a point where they need the industrial stuff. Because right now we can make plastic, but we can't do anything with plastic. So why would we make it, right? Then, step two. Today, I would love to, I would absolutely love to, complete something out of the museum. I'm hoping to complete trapping. Now, the problem is death, death moths, we only have three. And these other butterflies, we only have three as well. So we need two more of both of, both of them, right? There we go. So that's that's our main, our main problem. Then, we have three levels. So we are going to spend those today and we're going to work on whatever we're going to unlock. I have, I have looked at it already, so let's just get into that. So there's ballistas. I want to unlock the ballistas because we're slowly getting the area where mobs are spawning. They're trying to destroy our stuff. And before any catastrophe, 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 horrible thing happens, I want ballistas, basically, because they should automatically kill enemies. All right. Then the next step is architecture because structures have double the health. So, you know, once again, that protection. Structures cost 25% fewer materials is something we really need at the moment because everything is getting more expensive. And vaults have more inventory slots. This might solve our inventory issue for the time being. Only problem? We're gonna have to resort everything. Um, and I wanna get into jewelry because it unlocks amulets and I don't know what I, that exactly means. But I kinda wanna see if there's amulets that boosts our ability or decreases it or anything like that. So let's get that as well. And those are our three levels spent, basically. Those are our three levels spent. I keep hearing these monsters from down here. These guys, they're very loud. And there we go. We have triple shots now because of the ballistas. There we go. There's also another death moth. Good start. Another death moth. Okay, we only need one more. Great start. So the slime amulet is our first amulet and it is in here. I did find it. Uh, we can immediately make that because we have all the materials. It's not that hard. And gain 25% more resources. That's actually really good. That's actually really, really good. So let's just get on with that. There we go. And we just picked up the slime amulet. Gain 25% more resources. What's the next one? Because if we can make the next one as well, I will just go on. A 50% more resources. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and here we go again. All right. That's the gold amulet done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What's the next one? Skull amulet. And it doesn't even require bones or skulls. How can you call it a skull amulet then? But we can make that one as well. So let's just keep going. I will be repeating myself by saying the skull amulet is done basically. As we've just crafted three amulets in a ro row. The crystal one we cannot make because we need a frozen relic. So we can finally kind of move on. Um, However... In, instead of uh, instead of moving on, let's first check out how many more inventory slots. Hey, go away! No, no. Should also check if there's a butterfly for a moment. Hey, it's you. It's you with the shop. Um, you're selling Kraken's eyes, which I I void steel and obsidian. You know what? You can keep that. You can keep that. You can keep that. All right, so their inventory slots are just three more. You know what? Let me get to sorting that out first. So that I can actually see what our inventory is like. And then we'll continue. I do want to make a ballista today. So we'll uh, we'll be working on that. But I'll, I'll be first sorting this out. Otherwise, I'm going to go insane. No, stop breaking that. No. 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 Okay. I need to kill him. Otherwise, he's going to keep going. Hey, it's me, Editing Molly. Uh, well, so basically, a bunch of the audio of this uh, stream slash 
recording got absolutely just screwed, so to say. So, um, I will be here, like, dubbing over a bunch of the audio, and I will be, um, sometimes summarizing some parts that happened as some pieces I just, I just cannot repair. I've tried, tried, but it's just not gonna happen, so I hope you still enjoy the rest of this episode, but I understand if it's a complete mess. Alright, let's continue. Uh, so I sorted out the storage a bit more. I know there is still a little bit of a mess going on, but I just know that we don't have all the materials that we can get just yet. So sorting everything out doesn't have the greatest use yet, but at least I can find in what sector it is in right now. Um, besides that, I want to I wanna see what it costs to craft, uh, to craft a ballista. Uh, it's not in farming. It's right there. It's just bricks, obsidian, and wood. How large is it? It's also 4x4. Four four. That's actually great, because the the factory is really too large. So let's let's put a ballista here, first of all, because I, I keep getting ambushed by slimes while I go that way. And if somebody breaks our vault, we're really screwed. So that is a very important point for a ballista. Then we can maybe put one here. To keep ourselves safe while we're cra crafting things, because sometimes I'm standing still or I'm chatting to chat, right? So I I'd rather not be ambushed right here. Yo, it's already killing things. It's already killing slimes. Um, and then right, I have noticed that demons spawn a lot down here. Uh, give me one moment. There we go. Demons spawn a lot down here. There's another one right now. Shouldn't be killing him with my pickaxe, but once again, we're doing it. And let's just catch this moth. Uh, so, if we could consistently kill a bunch of demons, then we can harvest a bunch of materials. Oh, and this will cover a bit of that too. It doesn't seem like it's going too far, but that's okay. Uh, also, I've decided one more thing. I don't think we'll be building on that today. If we do, then, oh well, I have warned you now, basically. We will be we will be working on this area as our magic area because the druid guy gives us the scrolls and the scrolls we use to, you know, the scrolls are kind of our magic thing. So we so so I think that's fitting. And then right up here, the lady will be will be our marketplace area. I want to place more markets down here, and then she kind of, you know, story wise, I'd say she blesses your purchases, right? She blesses the trade that's going on. Um. Yeah, and I still, I don't know what to do yet with the factories. I have no clue. If anything, I'd love them to be close to the furnaces. But I I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fit them on this island. That, on this first starting island. If not, we might have to move it down. We might have to move it up. We will see. We will see. And otherwise, we'll make this starting hub maybe just a fun little housing area. And then we'll just move all the furnaces somewhere else. Because we don't have to start here. It's it's the middle island. But we can just log off up here and re-log up here. It's not it's not like we're locked to that. Anyway, I'm very happy with this these ballistas. I didn't expect them to be this cheap, basically. I honestly expected us to have to craft a bunch of things. But I'm very happy with them uh, so far. Alright, so I'm going to destroy our decorational crafting stations right here. Because I'd love to place another marketplace over here. And they're quite large. So let's get these trees out of the way. And then I think we're going to have to destroy this floor as well. Because we're going to have to fill it up. Because I think it will just look a lot nicer. And the marketplace won't fit otherwise. So let's go ahead and go make some more floor, shall we? So I think it's time that we're going to build some more banks. We're going to put them down here about in a line. So that we can, once we unlock the thing, that we can make more money and stuff like that. We also just need to make more banks because we need more money so we can unlock more islands and we can get more resources because that's our main struggle. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so we've crafted all the banks. They are now down here and we've got about three times the money generation than we had before. We've also placed our extra marketplace right here. Ooh, wait, it's selling leather. Let's just buy some. Can we buy all? Yeah, we should buy all. Let's go. All right, so... We bought all the leather and ooh, what's that? Let's just leave before we get too distracted with buying these random things we don't need. Anyway, I'm also just crafting some stuff down here because we are running short on some resources and we do have the bonus crafting beyond right now. Uh, let me just put the leather away. 
So I've put the leather away, and uh, now with our extra banks down here generating money, we should be able to explore a lot more islands today. And while I was building, uh, this happened. That was just a ballista bolt, like, flying by on the screen. Yeah, as you can see, a ballista bullet just kind of flew by our head, and I'm pretty sure they can't hit us, or at least I hope they can't hit us, because otherwise we would be taking a lot of damage probably while we're walking over this island. Um, anyway, uh, there's this pillar in the mid middle, which I would like to tap one more time, and we get merchants sell items at double the price, or industrious. All structures work twice as fast. Now, we are crafting a bunch of things, but I... I think we're pretty much done crafting all our stuff, so I rather... I, I think we'll go with the other one. I think we're gonna go with, uh, merchants. Because I do think I have some stuff to sell, but I could be wrong in that. Alright, so I did find these anchors to sell, as we don't need them anymore. And we have an over amount of rubies, so let's get rid of those as well. Um, let's see, what do these floor... Nah, the floors don't really sell for enough. And I could use them later already in my build. Anyway... We do have about 8k money, so let's let's just buy another island. That's that's the plan, basically. And I want to buy an island here in the ice area because we are looking for those butterflies for the museum, but they're not spawning fast enough. So let's just go buy another piece of land. Ooh. It also seems like we might be able to get another chest here by doing this quest of his lady. Also, there is our last butterfly, but let's see. Uh, it seems like she wants something. We can just put the bug in. Let's see what the sign says. Uh, only the flower that glows in the dark will awaken the stone princess. I think I know what flower that is. Give me a moment. I'll go grab it. All right. So I've grabbed, I've grabbed the flower that I'm pretty sure glows. There we go. Oh God, we're getting attacked. She's getting attacked. There we go. All right, so she's smiling now. That's quite cute. That's quite cute. And she's just here. We also get another chest, which we don't have a key for. Let me make a key. <laughs> All right, so I've made the key. I made two because I'm assuming we're getting one from the museum as well. But we actually got three as we got a double drop. The... We get a spirit orb. That's quite nice, actually. Uh, let's just use that right now, and I'm tempted to go with damage, however... We only have four hearts, and once we find another boss fight, right, we probably want the extra health. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go grab the butterflies now, so we can also get the museum chest, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've collected all my butterflies from my storage, and let's just pop them in, right? There we go, and we do get a chest. For a quick moment, I was thinking, what if we get nothing until we complete the entire museum? But, um, yeah, we, we've got the key, so uh, here we go. And we get... Ooh, quiver. Bows don't consume arrows. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. I'm pretty sure um, we can maybe just drop the arrows off and save our inventory space that way. It's only one slot, but let's see. My arrows won't fit in here. Uh, let's just dump them in here for now. I'll I'll find a good place for them later. And it seems like we can still use our bow. That's actually quite good. So with that extra money, we of course just bought a piece of land. But I would like to buy another piece of land. I'd like to continue this land buying for a bit. So let's buy... Uh, let's buy the cheapest one. You are the cheapest. Oh, what's over there? A little worried that we just unlocked a single space with a clown on it. Right? <laughs> that worries me a little bit, because... You know, I'd rather, not be, uh, I'd rather not be cheated out of an entire piece of land. But what do you have to say for us, sir? My name is Hopefrog, and I made this video game. Oh, hello! I am curious to know how well... You, uh, no forager by now. Oh, no. Let's play a trivia minigame. If you get at least one answer correct, I will give you a super rare reward. Let's do this. The music's great. Um, sorry, I'm just jamming out to the music. Stream can see that, but YouTube can't. What is the princess... What is... 
So, what is Princess's blah 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 real name? Catherine of the Sky, Hope Frog, or blah 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 blah. I don't know this. I don't even know who the prince like who who the princess is. I'm assuming it's the woman above the water, right? I I'm assuming it's blah blah blah. That was wrong. Let's try again. Uh, what is two times eight equivalent to? Two times eight is sixteen, right? Two times eight is sixteen. Forty-nine, eight, or yellow? Am I reading it wrong? I had I had Dutch. I had Dutch. Okay, I live in the Netherlands. My math wasn't Dutch, but. But two times, that's just two, x8 equals 16. I... 49. Oh no, you're almost at it. Okay, next question. How many enemies have you defeated so far? Pacific front, all of them. What, those were enemies? All of them. That's definitely wrong. Don't worry, you'll get it next one! It's impossible to win! It is! It is! What's the purpose of life? To gather materials to play forward your... Both A and B are correct. Both A and B are correct. Was that even a real answer? Yeah, because you gave it! You gave it! It's a multiple choice! How do video games get made? Input coffee and output code by magic nerds in a basement with a coffee coffee and magic. I <laughs> Input coffee and output code is very accurate. We need Slayer for this. Can we can we get Slayer for this? So Slayer is here, right? Because I am doing a recording for YouTube as well, so I need to update them. Uh, we're doing this quiz. Uh, the game creator made this quiz, and if we get one question right, we get a prize. Now the questions so far have been like, what's two times eight? And the answer is yellow, eight or 39. So this quiz is rigged basically. And now we've got the question, how do video games get made? My answers are input coffee and output code by magic or nerds in a basement with coffee and magic. And I know you program. So, I thought that you could answer this question maybe correctly. Nerds in a basement with coffee and magic. If it's wrong, right? We'll have, we'll have, it, we'll have video evidence that it's not true. I didn't know that either! Great! Thank you, Slayer. Goodbye. No, you don't do video games, but... I thought I might ask, you know. Hi. Anyway, I guess we just continue. But <laughs> well, that's okay, next question. <laughs> How are you going to rate Forager? A positive review, I guess. Mm, positive review, positive review, exclamation mark. I, I would rate it a positive review. That's obviously wrong. Oh, oof. Oof. Let's keep going. Shovel Knight was a really groundbreaking game. I agree. I disagree with uh, with disagreeing. But what is this? I didn't even. I did. I don't even know. I don't even. I. I. What is this? I don't even. That's not even close. <laughs> you are really bad at this mini game. <laughs> what is the correct answer to this question? None. Probably A. It's definitely B. None. <laughs> Now, whoa, so wrong. You didn't even get a single question right. You are the second worst trivia player I have ever seen. Don't worry though, I will give you a, a consolation reward. Thanks for playing, Forager, and I hope you're having fun. Ugh. Jester fell miserably at the, tri the trivia game. Okay, so I'm glad that we got that extra key. Merchant's medallion points at uh, at the location of the secret uh, of a secret merchant. 
market restock uh, restock times are reduced by 25%. Nice! Even though I do keep forgetting when, like, the restock is and stuff like that. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna sit sadly in a corner for a bit. Think about my life choices and about what just happened. Okay. Bye. Alright, so editing will be here with a little summary of what happened next. And it's all just little bits and bobs. We upgraded our shovel twice because we could. And in the meantime, while we were upgrading our shovel, uh, the shop was so kind to sell us some great skulls. So that means that we could finally upgrade our bow as well. And um, when I finished that, the bow upgrade, we, we decided we also needed some more just general defense than just our bow upgrade. We can buy another piece of land. Because, let's be honest, the Jester area was very trolly. It was very troll of a roll, right? And I and I want I want another piece of land that isn't troll, basically. The entire reason I bought this is because I wanted spawning space for enemies. And what did we not get? Spawning space for enemies. So, let's buy this piece right here. Ooh, what's that? If that's a dungeon, right... I'm, s I'm bringing that to next episode, because this episode is getting quite long already. Alright, so we built the bridge, and let's see what's in here. Skull Galaxy. Okay. Um, let's read the signs. Gentle enough to uh, soothe the skin. Strong enough to break stone. And we can place stuff on these pedestals. Okay. What force... Uh, and strength cannot get through with my teeth can do all right that's very cryptic next one uh, i can fall from great heights and live but submerged in water i die all right okay that's something alive without breath cold as death never thirsty always drinking Okay, so these riddles definitely are linked to what we need to place on the pedestal. And first, I thought maybe it could be the moths or the butterflies, the things that we catch. But also, it just kind of doesn't make sense. Because if you read this one, gentle enough to, uh, to smooth the skin, strong enough to uh, break the stone. That doesn't really align with any of the bugs. So, okay. Glad we did this. <laughs> All right, so we are going to be ending this uh, this episode of Forager pretty soon, but I want to do one more thing, right? I want to buy one more piece of land. One more piece of land. Let's go buy land. That's this one because it's the cheapest one. Ooh. Hello, lady. Well, hello, lady. There we go. Lovely to meet you, friend. My name is Anna Banana. <laughs> Hello, Anna. It's hard being a princess in the desert. No flower, uh, no flowers uh, grow here. A flowerless princess. She wants flowers. That's okay. I can give you flowers. These are beautiful. Thank you very much. I hope you like animals. This will help you uh, find more of them. Ooh, thank you, Anna's the light. Thank you for the poison. Po po Poison. Thank you for the po potion. I can't speak. What's your next quest? Since you helped me, I want to help you. I can make a rare form of uh, clo uh, clothing? Cl clothing? Uh, that will make animals love you forever. Oh. Bring me the materials and I will make it for you. She wants two royal clothing. She wants two royal clothing. You know what? I think we'll do that, and then we'll end the episode, right? We'll, we'll do her quest. Hello, princess. I got you some royal clothing. This is perfect. Here you go, friend. I will be buying a key. Give me a moment. No key crafted. I am crafting some more keys, but that's, that's fine. All right, chest. Pink bow. Animals drop 25% more resources and spawn much more often. That's really nice because animal spawning has been a little bit of an issue. Thank you very much, princess. Do you have anything else to say? 
Uh, eight days is a, uh, is a long time to sleep for. Alright, thank you for watching this episode of Forager. I know it was a bit of a mess and I know that it was a bit of a, you know, audio drama, basically. Not actual audio drama, but just... Holy moly, I definitely didn't have the most fun editing this episode. But anyway, I do hope I made something decent off of it. If you, if you still liked it though, please leave a like and subscribe this if you uh, want to see more videos. Anyway, this is the end. I'm waving. You can't see a good night. Sleep tight. Have a lovely day, evening, and night. And, um, I'm sorry. <laughs>